I followed my dreams and opened an antique store to have adventures and spend time as a family. Sometimes you have to climb a mountain and open some new doors to find the treasures inside. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. So the folks at Evaporust were nice enough to send me this jumbo jug of, uh, of their products and um, also the uh, rust block that uh, you use afterwards to protect it after you've removed the rust. So it does say it's biodegradable and pH neutral and that guy in their picture is using a bare hand and I don't know if that's uh, the before or after. I'm assuming the after it's looking pretty shiny. So um, we're gonna get some rusty stuff and see what it looks like after we're done with it. So just gonna read the instructions here and make sure I do everything right. And thankfully I've got a super understanding wife because we're doing this at home today, uh, right on the kitchen counter. But it is environmentally friendly, so I'm not too worried. And my kids, my little, my son Jason and Abby, are going to help Dad out today on the project and see how things go. And the nice thing is, when you have kids, especially like I do, you want to use something that's really safe and environmentally friendly. This stuff really is uh, about as safe as you can get. So we're going to do it in the kitchen today and see how it turns out. So what I've done is I've gone to the dollar store and I've got a couple of these uh, kind of you know little turkey basting sort of trays here for for uh, roasting in. And um, I've got two side by side. One, I'm gonna try putting some of these rusty old wrenches that I had at the shop. Sometimes I go to barns and places like that and there's old tools sitting there. So uh, we're gonna try and uh, get these guys cleaned off. The other side here, this is actually uh, what I need this stuff for probably the most. Um, this is my steering box, which the uh, shop said was basically unusable because of its condition. We're gonna see uh, how good this product does at getting the rust off of um, my steering box. So we're gonna try a couple things. Oh, and the other thing we're gonna try out, I've got this rusty old oil can. Actually would have been kind of a cool can. You can see it probably sat uh, sideways face down in the grass for a while and that side's completely worn away. So it's really not worth anything the way it is right now. So I'm gonna try soaking it and see um, what happens when you have a painted surface and uh, how it's affected by the product too. So I'm gonna fill these uh, two tubs up a little bit so that uh, the base can sit in there and these guys will be submerged and uh, see what happens. Right, so I want you to look in the bin and I want you to tell me which ones do you think are gonna come clean and which ones do you think are gonna be rusty? I think these maybe... Are gonna be clean or stay rusty? Mm, both. Both, okay, well which part's gonna get cleaned? Maybe. Oh, like if it's not too rusty, it might clean up a little bit better? Yeah, mm -hmm. like here. Okay. So, yeah, it's a little a little bit dirty. Yeah. So I'm only soaking the bottom part here, so we're gonna practice on the bottom. And Jason, you think all these are gonna come up looking Except pretty good? Except for maybe this one, because it's really rusty. Here, let's see how rusty is it. Yeah, it's got some pretty bad pitting in it. So you don't think that and one's gonna I come up? I got rust on my hand. Oh, yep. Okay, well you guys go wash up. Dad's gonna pour the evapo rust into the containers and we'll let it sit for a while. So we're gonna pour some of the evapo rust into the containers. Uh, I've got the tools in here laid out. I'm gonna add the can in after because uh, I don't want it to splash everywhere. This is a pretty big container, this one. Um, they do make them in smaller sizes too. So this one's a little bit more cumbersome to pour, but we're gonna give it our best shot here. And I only need enough to basically cover the tools. And I've got the tools sort of separated and laid out so they're not overlapping. Um, I'm just gonna go in a little bit closer so you can see I've got all the surfaces covered. So now with those ones, it's kind of just a waiting game and I'm gonna add in my rusty oil can and see what happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay it down on the uh, worst side there, the rusty side, and uh, see what happens. Okay, now both containers are full, so it's just sort of a waiting game now to wait and uh, see what happens. I'm going to add a few other things into the mix, like some old uh, bolts and other parts off of the steering box. May as well, since I got the liquid in there. So uh, let's see how Vaporust does. So the parts that I'm trying to take the rust off of are pretty heavily corroded. So I'm going to take the recommendation that they have on the bottle and let it sit the full 12 hours. So I'm going to leave this overnight and check on it in the morning. But my son wanted to try taking a little bit of rust off of something too, or some corrosion. So what do you have for me? Thanks. So we're going to see what happens when we stick this uh, tarnished penny in there too, as my son is kind of curious. So what do you think is going to be shiny? Yeah. Yeah, you think so? Okay. Well, we're going to give it a try. So in goes the penny in with the uh, evapo rust too. So we're going to drop that in. 
And already I'm noticing a difference. I can see, uh, even without taking it out of the um, solution here, that this one old wrench is really starting to uh, brighten up. It's not nearly as rusty as it was. So I'm gonna flip it over and uh, let the other side get a little bit of the uh, solution on there. And yeah, we'll let it soak a little longer. So far it's been two hours. So let's have a look and see what's happened after a couple hours. So after two hours, you can see um, the evapo rust in this container is a lot darker than in the one that has my um, steering box mechanism. I believe that's because the oil inside of the uh, can, uh, there was probably hardened oil inside of there and it's actually become a little bit more free and diluted. Um, otherwise, I don't think it'd be this murky. But let's have a look-see. Difference in the wrench here. It was pretty darn rusty. And the oil can... That was the rusty side there. You can see pretty much the surface rust in that spot is completely gone and it's back to bare metal. Um, and just a little bit of uh, surface rust on where the writing was in that other spot. So um, just to kind of give you an idea about how dramatic it is, you can see it was sitting in that side. Look at the difference. There's a definite line with where the evapo rust was sitting uh, compared to where the rust is formed on that can. So. I'm going to put that back in and let it soak a little longer. And uh, these guys are a little harder to tell, but you can see the water line there. It's definitely a lot brighter and it revealed that there was paint underneath. So my car had been painted red and kind of this baby blue at one point. Um, I didn't even know that there was paint still on this thing. <laughs> so um, it's the, taken away the surface rust that was on top and uh, there's a definite uh, difference in color. Same on that guy too, you can see where the liquid was. So uh, even after just a couple hours, starting to see a pretty big difference. So we're gonna let it soak a little while longer and we'll do an update later on. Okay, so it's the next morning. I've got my two loyal testers here with me. So does it look a little bit different, that liquid? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's dirty. Yeah, that uh, normally you can reuse the evapo rust. I have a feeling that the stuff I put in there was so uh, rusty that eh, I don't want to uh, infect the other good stuff, so I might not reuse it. But let's take it out and have a look and see. So, Jason, where was... This was your wrench that you said probably wouldn't come out. Do you remember how it was before? Yeah. So it's kind of a gray color. Let's wash it off and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so it's washed up. This is the one that was completely red and rusty before. The rust is all gone now. Um, it's turned into sort of this light gray color and you can actually read the... Uh, I didn't even realize that there was writing on here, little numbers. So that came out pretty good. I imagine if I took some steel wool to that, it would probably shine out pretty good. Here, have a look, Jason. Yeah, it's better than it was before. Okay guys, so we're gonna have a look at uh, item number two. And that was the old wrench. Yeah, so there it is. This is an old wrench that was made in England. So this is probably from the 1930s or so. So about 70 years old. That's pretty old, hey? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's actually pretty old. It's super old. And a lot of the rust is off of it. So again, um, the surface rust has come off. The major pitting uh, there's still some pitting on it, obviously, because, uh, you know, it's just a liquid solution. It's not an abrasive. But, um, yeah, I think I could probably get that guy to work again. <laughs> and now to have a look at the oil can. So, you can see, look at this, guys. Wow. Yeah, um, see on the top see? there? Right on the top, there's that line. That's where I had it soaking, and it made, like, a definite line of... Uh, of clean where it took the uh, rust. the rust away. So that's pretty impressive. If I let this soak a while longer, I bet a lot of that little red rust would go away. But uh, this is kind of what it looks like now. So there's um, a lot more of that deco left underneath the rust than I thought. And you know, that's actually not, not half bad. So I don't know if that could be any clearer where the, the rust basically ends. This is the part that was soaking and it's back to metal. And there's the gross surface rust that was all over this thing. So 
Um, yeah, it's like somebody drew a line on it with a marker where the <laughs> where, where the clean is now. So it's pretty cool. Um, same thing here too. You can see where it was soaking. I had it lying on an angle and you can see right where that uh, solution came right up to there. Huge difference there. I mean, look at that. That's the after and that's the before. So pretty cool. And so last but not least, remember the penny we put in there, Jason? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna see, I don't know how clean it's gonna be because it's coming out of this dirty, sludgy water, so. Do you think it's gonna be any cleaner? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So this is his penny. So it's actually a lot cleaner, and I'm surprised uh, that all that gross, <laughs> oily stuff in there didn't stick to it. I shouldn't have, I should have really washed the parts off first, but it actually worked pretty good nonetheless, so. Does that look a lot better? Yeah. Yeah, so okay, I'm gonna wash it off and I'll give it over to you. So next what I'm gonna do is take the items out of the uh, the solution, the evapo rust. I'm gonna wash them off because uh, they're a little bit dirty from being in there and uh, give them the treatment with their uh, rust block treatment. So we're gonna give that a try. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Um, I'd probably recommend this product for uh, smaller parts. Uh, I wish I had enough of it to dunk my whole car in, but um, I mean, when you come to a big project like that, nothing beats sandblasting. That's really the way to go, sandblast and sand. But I am pretty impressed with how uh, some of these items turned out, like the wrenches and the bolts. Um, I have used similar products in the past, and um, yeah, I mean, I, if you have old bolts and things and you don't want to spend the time to, to go through and clean, uh, it's a great way to, to save time on these sorts of projects. So all I had to do was basically let it sit overnight, woke up in the morning, and my stuff was cleaned and uh, way further along. So yeah, would definitely recommend the product. It works really good. So thanks again to the folks over at Evapo Rust for sending me their product. Um, they didn't sponsor the video, they just sent me the product to try out. So this is just basically a, a trial of their product to see how it works. And actually, I'm pretty happy. It worked out really good. I'm definitely going to keep it around and use it on some other rusty parts. And if you see my race car, I'll probably need a whole bunch more of it to get that thing going. But uh, thanks so much for watching these videos. Don't forget to subscribe. You can also check us out online at curiosityedmonton.ca. And I'll include the link for the Evaporust uh, people here up on my website as well, so you can check them out and see if they sell it at the local store near you. But thanks so much for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.